from now we are going to start a new topic which is relationships as you guys can see in here this is my database structures where i have a students table let me zoom in i have a students table users teacher classes subject comments and grade table all of them are connected with each other so the relationship between the student and the user is one to one which means that each student can have only one user and same for the teacher teachers can also have only one user so it means that our users are two types either they are a student or they are teacher now let's go to our teachers table and classes table so the relationship between our teachers and classes table are one to many which means that each teacher can have multiple classes and each class have only one teacher same for the classes and the subject the relationship between the classes and subject is many to many which means in one class there can be multiple subjects and also one subject can be taught in multiple classes that's why we have created this class subject table which will hold the class id and subject id if i zoom in a little bit more now in here you guys can see i have class id and subject id so our class subjects table is a pivot table between the classes and subjects now let's go to our subjects and students so the relationship between the subject and the students also is also many to many and they are connected by grades table which means that each student can have multiple let me multiple subjects and each subject can have multiple students and they are connected with the, this pivot table which it, the name is grades and then let's uh, scroll down in here we have another table with the name of comments this is uh, this table is used for our po polymorphic relationship which means uh, students teachers they both can add comments but instead of adding student id or teacher id we have commentable type and commentable id which will just we will add the id of the table and the name of the table and we will create our relationship so let's go here so we are going to learn about one to one as one true one to many has many true many to many and polymorphic relationships in the upcoming videos